So what, what you can actually do in an experiment is just take some plants and you either apply a homeopathic remedy dissolved in water or you apply just plain water or plain water with some sugar pills to, to have a good comparison. And then you can observe that the plants that had been treated homeopathically that they grow just simply different compared to the comparison plants, meaning they either get a little bit taller or a little bit smaller one would generally assume that plants are not susceptible to a placebo effect, but anyway, we are still, all our experiments, we did them blinded in the sense that before applying any treatment, be that a homeopathic remedy or placebo or control solution, for beforehand it had been coded, so and, and the experimenter never knew whether he applied the homeopathic remedy or the control solution to the plant. So what we did is, in that sense, gold standard research because we coded any solutions so we, the experimenter never knew what he was applying to the plants. And what we finally observed is that these plants just simply reacted to the homeopathic remedies. That may be quite surprising, but indeed that's what we observed. There's no doubt at all that these are robust results because we also introduced a technique which is not so common, which you might call the platin, platinum standard in, in laboratory research because what we implemented in all our data are the so-called systematic negative control experiments, which means that the entire setup, experimental setup is treated identically just with water and then analyzed if as, as if it had been treated with homeopathic remedies. And then, if the experiment has gone right, you are, uh, it's not possible that you see any difference if the system is stable. And we always, in our experiments, that was always the case. So we are definitely sure that in all our experiments we did not observe any false positive results or any, we didn't observe any errors but that what we observed is really a true effect of the homeopathic remedies. I started to work with plants because being not a doctor, I can do experiments with humans and I didn't want to make animal experiments, so I started to work with plants. And we accumulated a huge body of evidence that plants indeed react to homeopathic remedies, so there must be something inside these homeopathic remedies that leads to certain effects on living organisms. And after having answered this question, at least for me, I would, the next step now is to attack the question, what is the mode of action? Because as far as I know, no one on this earth understands until now how homeopathy works. And that's now, I would say, for so maybe the next 20 years of my, my, the other half of my professional life, I want to concentrate on that question, what is the mode of action? of homeopathically potentized remedies.